Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Sven, one of our community members, uh, one uh, who watches our YouTube videos as well as uh, comes to chat every once in a while at live.perillo.com, sends his email this morning, just wondering something. I'm running Vista as a host machine in Virtual PC 2007, which has XP Pro installed on it. The virtual hard drive is saved on an 80 gigabyte partition separate from any Vista files. If XP caught a virus, or some nasty spyware on it, could it transfer itself onto my Vista partitions, or will it be regulated to just the virtual PC? I always have the option to shut down with XP if I want to save any changes to the disk for that session, so if I was to click no if I caught a virus, would all changes be erased, and on reboot, XP would function as normal? Sven, uh, be careful here. And we're talking about a subject we've discussed before, uh, that would be virtual machines or running an operating system inside an operating system. Uh, virtual PC is a, uh, I guess, a virtual machine software that's available from Microsoft. It is free, uh, and as F Sven is using, uh, he, he's got a virtual machine of XP running inside of Windows Vista. Now, user Bing Geek says he doesn't think so. However, I would add this caveat. I do believe it could be possible in theory. Now, hear me out. Inside a virtual machine, you have the opportunity of networking the contents of that machine to whatever operating system you happen to be running in. So as the host machine being Windows Vista and the virtual machine being XP, if you're connected by network and you're sharing folders and drives or you're sharing uh, information between these two machines, that's a networked machine. It's a networked virtual machine. And there have been some viruses and spyware that have propagated over networks in the past. And I've really seen many of those uh, recently, but I would say that, and as user Bing Geek again asserts, malware authors are starting to look for flaws in, in virtual machines, and I believe that to be true. Uh, the best thing that you could do to make sure that you're completely safeguarded uh, when you're trying new software inside of a, a virtual machine is not networking that machine, sharing any folders, uh, having it discoverable on the, on the same network uh, as the Vista machine, uh, and, and, and make sure, if you want to go even, even a step further, uh, disconnect any kind of internet connectivity for that virtual machine when you are trying software um, and that you may not know. And, and if you do that, then yeah, you would likely, most likely be safeguarded against any kind of attack from a virtual machine to the host machine. Now, nothing is ever 100% foolproof, um, but, uh, you know, again, just be careful. <laughs> I mean, I would say, yeah, you're protected, but you know, if you're networked in any way, there's a chance that it, the, the virus or spyware could jump across uh, the network. You, you've got a different layer of security built in too, in the sense that you've got XP running in a virtual machine and Vista as the host operating system, and flaws in XP are going to potentially work differently if they were run or attempted to run inside of Vista. So there may be a layer of security here uh, that uh, an XP machine to XP machine uh, would be impacted by, whereas you, you might not be being inside of Vista. So those are a few suggestions for you uh, being safe and secure as possible uh, running XP inside a virtual machine. You are correct in the sense that if you do not save the changes uh, inside a virtual PC, the software from Microsoft, then on reboot, everything will be as it was the last time that you would save the state of that virtual machine. Uh, if anybody else has any suggestions or uh, tweaks, optimization tips for running safely, truly safely inside a virtual machine uh, when Windows is the host OS, we're looking for any kind of suggestion. Go ahead and, and drop us a comment or uh, swing by the chat room, live.perillo.com. I'd say every, every week, someone asks a question about virtual machines I tell you that's the next big uh, that's the next big piece of software that people are going to start using more and more of it's what's going to make it possible for a lot more people to switch uh, to OS 10 for their primary operating system because with the parallel software and even VMware fusion you could run Windows inside of OS 10 virtual machines are very very cool anyway we'll see you soon